Okay, I have this battery tester. Disconnected the negative, disconnected the positive, and let's test this battery. So this battery rated for 850 CCA. So let's connect the leads and test it out this battery. I've got that connected. And I have this connected. We're gonna go to check the battery out of vehicle because I disconnected the uh, positive and negative from the battery Eight hundred fifty amps and as you guys can see resistance is 464 uh, CCA is 520 1 amp instead of uh, 850 and the voltage is 12.5 took the battery off now I'm gonna peel those stickers carefully I'm gonna try to save them now I'm going to take those covers off Okay, it's a three-quarter socket to unscrew those covers and just make sure uh, so there is not a lot of force needed to unscrew and screw those caps in so don't use the ratchet uh, otherwise you'll break them so only by hand so you can feel it Again, this is AGM battery, so those cells are not supposed to be flooded, but they look dry to me. I just looked at it, checked it out, and they look dry to me. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna fill each of those cells with uh, 10 milligrams of distilled water, and then I'm gonna put it on the charger. I'm gonna charge overnight with the two amps, with a really low amperage and then I'm gonna discharge and then I'm gonna charge it again and then we're gonna test it out this battery and see how it's gonna turn out
I did charge a little bit of this battery already, but I wanted to show you my setup. So this is a power supply and this is the leads of a power supply cord, which is over here. And those leads are too small, so I can't fit it over the terminals. So what I did, uh, I used my uh, battery tester uh, terminals and connected them to the battery. And now I can easily connect those small connectors to the terminals, just like that. And this is my setup to charge the battery. All right, just like that. And as you guys can see, uh, the voltage is 13.7 volts, two amps, and I'm gonna start charging now. So I'm gonna press this output button and it's gonna send 13.7 uh, volts to this battery. As I said before, I did charge a little bit uh, already, but I just took it off to show you what's, what's going on in here. Just wanted to share with you guys. So it's about 12 hours past. I increased the voltage to 14.7 volts and left it that way with the two amps. So as you guys can see, the amperage dropped to 0 0.8 amps and it's still charging. So I'm just gonna leave it sit like that till it takes complete charge. This battery has been sitting 24 hours on the charge and I just wanted to show you guys. So now it uh, takes uh, 5.9 watts and 0 0.4 amps. So now I'm gonna discharge this battery. I am discharging the battery now. Um, so the battery was fully charged and I'm using this light now. Okay guys, this battery was cycled twice. So it's been charged, discharged, charged, discharged, um, and then charged again. And yeah, I just wanted to share with you the result. So as you guys see, good battery, resistance went down, CCA 968 amps, a little bit high, but I guess I am going to install in the vehicle and test it out. When you guys put those plugs back in, you do not want to screw them was a ratchet. You want to screw them carefully by hand. Do not over torque it and be really careful because otherwise you will break it. So what I'm doing is I'm just using three quarter socket and all what I'm going to do is screw it to the point where it stops, where I can't turn anymore. those easy to break if you guys gonna use the ratchet and over torque them
I had a little bit left over from the previous job of this material, sound skin. So this is uh, two layers of uh, Vibro and uh, soundproof. And yeah, I just installed it in the trunk on a BMW X7. And that's how it looks like.